Sounds of Voice Online. Good afternoon, sir. You're welcome. Sounds of Voice Online. Good afternoon, also. We're about to start. Uh, I believe we should get started so that we can move on with the today's agenda as far as finance needs to be concerned. Last year we started the Yes. Yes, yes, he said he won't. She won't. Yes. Yes. I the Please, Madam Queen, mute your mic, ma. Mute your mic, ma. So, without wasting much of our time, we'll take a question similar to what we had before. Not to waste our time, these are two projects year one or year zero. Our project, project X, this question, please write it down. So that will run there. So we have two projects for the X and Y. Uh, this is the cost outlay or the original cost of each project. Uh, this one is uh, costing us uh, 8240. Uh, year one, these are the expected cash flow or the projected cash flow. This is how it is. We have 3,000 Naira, this is 1,000 Naira, year 3, we have 2, 5, and we have uh, 1,700, that's the question. Uh, year 4, we have another 2, 5, another 2, 5, and this one is 1,500. And then the final year, year five, we we'll have 2,000 naira, and we'll have 1,000 naira. So, the first one is expecting us to have uh, assuming, assuming cost of uh, cost of capital is 10%. Advice, advice, advice the plan on which project to accept. Okay, so this is the question. Ordinarily, from what we did before. If there was no cost of capital issue, we can just look at project X and find out the payback period. Am I correct? Very simple, we just add. The same thing we do the other side. But in this case, the person wants us to know the present value. This is expected value. The future is expected. But what we know the present value now, then I'll be able to understand uh, the number of years the project will pay back, whether it's two years or three years. This one is better. But like the other one, there was no uh, calculation of such. 
So we're going to take it one after the other. Uh, we'll give our solution. Solution. Uh, let me say solution to project, project X. Year one. We have uh, project year zero. We have uh, discount uh, factor. So we say discount factor. At uh, 10%, we all agree. And this is uh, the present value. We understand that PV is a general grammar. We understand two and three. We have a minus. Uh, sorry. There's a cash flow. I hope that this will be better for us here. Is it okay for us? So that we'll make the change so that now we might have this here. Uh, DC at uh, that discount factor at 10 percent, that means uh, present value. Okay, present value this is minus 10,000, which we have here. This is just 3,000, and uh, the next one, three, five. no, three, five. Three, five. three, five. The next one is 3,000. Uh, another one is 2005. Five, okay. Another 2005. Okay. Uh, no, 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 yeah. so we already heard about it. Look at it. That's why I came to that point. About four is also 25. Okay. Oh. Yes, number five, 2000. So that is for project uh, uh, X. I hope you have all copied the question, have you? So that we will need project Y, there won't be issue. But don't worry, I still have it. No, no sir, we are still discounting copy. Okay, I still copy. Go ahead. This one is not the solution for project X. We want to know what the present value of these cash flows are for us to actually determine what the payback period for project X will be. And then choose which one pays faster than the other. What and that's all. What cash flow? Cash flow, uh, cash flow yes, cash flow. Cash flow. Uh, this is a cash flow. We don't want to write the space not that much uh, so that those online also uh, see it clearly. So CF is cash flow. This CF is discount factor, which is the uh, rate of return of the opportunity cost, whichever grammar. Discount factor, uh, which is 10% given in the question. Yeah, our DB, I hope that money down is not straight, is the present uh, value in case you are just seeing that uh, for the first time. And uh, these are our discount factor. We are simply referring to something like this. This is what we are looking at. Huh? We are simply talking about one over one plus r, all raised to power n. That's what we are saying here. The discount factor. So that's what we're doing. That means year zero, the door is going to be one. Have it? Hello. This is the formula. Abe. Anytime we talk about discount, it is one over one plus r raised to power n. You remember we did present value of it, and our denominator was one plus r raised to the power n. So that is one over this. So with this now, okay, with this, for us to find this kind of factor for year zero, when there is a cost outflow of negative, that is a cash outflow, this cash outflow, one from year one to year five. That is cash share inflow. I hope you understand it too. The one that has minus is outflow, which is cost, which is a kind of expense. So the one with that minus, which is plus, is cash inflow, which is a kind of receipts or net income or cash income, whichever grammar, or benefits, whichever language that is open for you to use. Now, for you to get this, it simply means one over. 1 plus 10 percent. We all know it's 0.1, have it? Yeah. All raised to power what? Yeah, what? 
A number raised to power zero is what? One over one? Is it clear? This is a simple. Uh, this one is now 1.1 raised to power zero, which is the one. And then one over one. So if I multiply this now, I'm having the same thing as it. Is it clear by us? Okay. Here's a cash flow. But well, this one is outflow because it has nine. The one with positive is inflow. So this is positive. Outlay. These ones are the kind of receipts or right? income. As expected. But this is our expected income. We want to know the present value because the expected income is future. And it is that future uh, value that we use to determine whether the payback period is two years or three years or four years. We're looking at that one that we're not so sure. That's our expected income. We want to know the value now. When we know the value now, we're able to find out what the payback period will be. That's why this one is called. The discounted pay back period. The one we did that time was what some people call simple payback period or ordinary payback period. So there are two there's simple, there's discounted payback period. So for this next one, it will do what? One over 1.1 1 .1 raised to power one. I mean, calculate on go alpha. Is this still working? Do they have, or they have not bought calculator to them? Year one, year two, year three, year four, like that. So for year one, are we there? Zero point. Good. I would like to show it now. I'm going to show you the workings. Your calculator is still doing fine. So we say one whole number, divide. If you like, we can put brackets, 1.1, 1 .1, bracket close, raised to the power of uh, just one, Abby. And you get the result. We try to make it a uh, kind of bubble drop. Uh, Four decimal places that will be okay by us. This is one of it. Let's just keep it at four decimal. So you now use this to multiply this times times uh, three five. So there are three one eight one. So approximately, we can say it's two. Is it clear? So the same thing is going on. If this one was there, I mean, the next time we have the one raised to by what? Oh, yeah. 0 0.826 what? Did you approximate? It is that one have to find the last one? It's not to find, so okay, better. So we now multiply by that result. I hope we are following. Who is that? What? Hey, where, where, where? No, where? Is your is your calculator there? Are you sure you're using it? They are using it properly. Why? Oh yeah, now. Okay, don't worry. I'll come back. Let me just run this. It's very simple. We'll come back. But let's just put it right now. One. Hey, those who are helping, how far? Somebody is helping us. Times uh, 3,000. Uh, I hope you're expressing it guys. Interesting, Abby. It's just to know what you are doing at the time. These things are not very difficult. This one now will be raised to power what? One three zero point four zero point seven five one three seven five one three. Are it? I hope there's no that four will not go three will not go up. But right now, multiply multiply by two five. 
add this to this to this to this is not up to 10,000. The balance will now move to 50 here. Eh? Because if you add all, it's more than 10,000. Am I correct? So, but when you add one, two, three, four, it's close to 10,000. The balance will now flip to year one, five. And that means that balance will by the value of year five. For us to know the remaining few months that will make up four years or so months. Are you sure you understand that? Okay, okay fine. So somebody press calculator for us. Divide this. What do I have? 0 0.6. This six. Okay, let me take it. 0 0.60. Six to an eight. So automatically it's four point one six years, are they? Uh, remember, this is 4.6 years. It's not the same thing as four years, six months, like some of you uh, submitted in the formatting I gave to you. Point 0.6 is not the same thing as six years. Point 0.6, there means six over what? Then, are they? You now use it to multiply by 12 months, are they? For you to know the real world. Months, that's how to get the number of months. Point 0.6. It's not six months. It's just 4.6 years. But if you want to know the point, that's why right. it's six over 10 times 12 months. And that will help you to know the number of months that is what you want. But for this first one, we're having a 4.6 months years. Any questions those of us online? No. Good, no. good. So please quickly copy. Let's take the second project, project Y, and then find out which project we are going to accept and the project we are going to reject. Yes, no, 4.6 years. Uh, yes, 4.6. It's not at the six years. There's a point. Is it clear? Okay. Which one? Which one? Which one? See this one? No, six over ten. Yes. I know if, if I don't want to use point six, I want to know the meaning of point six in months. Point six means six over ten. Yes. So six over ten times twelve months. So I will not say four years, so so months, or so whatever I get from here. But you can leave it as four point six. It all depends on if the alternative is in that one. Please come very fast. Hey, by the time we we'll we'll finish, if we we'll get to uh, MPV, I you follow guys, net present value and the IRR. By the time we we'll get to that level, We'll solve the question for your past question that resemble virtually what we have done. And that time we we'll explain clearly. I hope I will finish it today so that by next week I will solve that question. If I can solve two on this area, you are so that when you don't see it in exam, you are good to go. So that by the time I say pay back period, you will be telling me story. Now, when you see this kind of thing, we'll be flowing together. Let me say, no, I'll leave you with the solver. 
So let's begin next week. We should do a question from your pastors. Or two. Can we pick it up? Can we take it up? Can I clean? Those of us here, can we clean? Good. Um, I want to make this so uh, fast enough for us. Uh, we are still using the same question. But this time I have project what? Y. This is minus 8240. Is it correct? Project Y? Oh, are we there? Yeah. yeah project Y, is that minus? Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, year one. How much is year one? Is that? 2,400. Year two? 1,900. Year three? 1,700. Year four? 1,500. And the last one, one three. What we have on the board is still the same. We will change this. I follow it. The same thing we did for the discounting factor is still the same, then the same. But our result here will change. <coughs> and this one will also change. This will have a minus 8240. Somebody multiply for us. We are now in project Y, the second project. Uh, multiply past 2004. I hope somebody will have finished all this one now. First one, 2182, I mean. Second one, you said? 1570. 1570. 1570. Good, good. Those online are represented. 1277. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. 1025. One, two, three, four. Let's get up to four. Is it? You said? It's not up to fifty. Uh, if you add this at all, is it up to that? If you try this at all, uh, that means payback period is over what? Over five years. Over five years. Therefore, we do what? We accept that bit. Ooh. We are set projected. Yes. Uh -huh. Is it okay now? So we have still reason why we have to reject the first one. But if we if that thing wasn't this kind of case, then it's it to be okay. But it is clear that project X will be executed. That's how to handle uh ordinary payback period and discounted payback. Remember that is a second way. Of evaluating the what uh, project as far as uh, project evaluation is what concerned. Those online, any questions? No, sir. Good. So we are okay. moving on to the third one. We're with the present factor. method of evaluation. And that one method is called accounting, uh, accounting rate. That's it. Is it wrong? It's 807. That number, yeah. that year five, is 807. It's what? 807. But, yes, sir. But so, see, it's this is one three. Yes, it's one three. Let's see it's one three. Please change it to. Yes, it's one three. It's one three. Uh, it's one three. One thousand three, one three, one three. Yes, I take my first one three. So it should be eight four seven, I mean. But even like that, I mean, if you add it, is it up to eight thousand plus? It's not, I mean, so that means it's over five years. So we are still accepting project one. 
Declare. So I will see that I'm moving on to another uh, method of evaluating. And these are these three methods are traditional methods. They are not. Uh, they have deficiency with what we call uh, time value of money. But just like an examination, they tell you to do it by any word. Almost like you saw in some of their classes. Like I said, next week we'll show you how to manage that. So that the explanation will be clear. So this one is called accounting rate of return or average rate of return. They call it accounting rate of return or average rate of return. Pay because uh, it has uh, some uh, knowledge of accounting, trying to talk about expensive, no, income and expenses. I will have net profit away or net cash flow and space. So let's see. You know, this method is also simple. One of the advantages is that it's simple, it's easy to calculate, but you also have a problem with the uh, you know, time value of money. It's not too but the best among all the methods is net present. I have some deficiency, but it still are not present. We can clean the board now. Those of us online, can we? Yes, you can, sir. Good. So we are moving on. We are moving. So this one is called uh, number three, I believe, accounting or average rates of return. Either accounting or average rate of what to return. That's the language we have there, accounting rate of return. Take a question without uh, wasting much of our time. Uh, given something like this, we have uh, year one, year two, year three, uh, okay. let's say year four, and year five. Let me see whether it's captured. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not even done. Okay. okay. Okay, um, these are our gross profits. So that, that's why the knowledge of accounting is very important. So that's that small, small things. Knowing that uh, for you to get uh, profit, it should be a total profit minus total expenditure bit, you get net profit. And then, if you are doing normal treatment account, you know it's sales minus variable costs, you get contribution, which we call gross profit to the other part. And by the time you take away expenses from cost profit, you have net profit. When you take away depreciation, you also have a profit after depreciation or before you come and tax. When we take away tax, then you have profit after all tax. So we we'll know this thing. But we just have to let you know you must know simple subtraction between cost and what expenses to get profit or income or net profit. But we'll get it, don't worry. We'll take it through as you need arises. So, this is a question we're writing. Uh, this is 3,000. Uh, this is 25. Um, this is another uh, 25 also. And the 5 to have those 2,000. From one indication, we have depreciation. In case you don't know what is depreciation, depreciation is a decrease in the value of an asset or wear and tear of an asset. That means that as a result of using it, you have an asset over and over, you use it, it will drop in value. And the opposite of depreciation is called what? appreciation. Good. And that's a profit, but it's not everything that can appreciate. There are things that can appreciate the value. 
land, land, most of it. Building, depending on the area of it. And there are some areas that will be coming down. Uh, you have 2000. Because the position was of that in a day, as in bracket here, you know what's bracket, both in accounting and in finance, you know, bracket here means minus. So you have the uh, 2000. So these are our profits. Profits before tax. Either we we'll call this our profit before tax or profit before and after depreciation, whichever one. Well, it's not composite, there's no tax rule, there's nothing you can do about it. So there is one five subtraction. Uh, here is a uh, 1,000. Uh, let me move this down. Mm -hmm. This one, good. Now we'll have uh, 500. We'll subtract it. Good. We'll have uh, 500 or so. Here is zero. What you are seeing on the board? So time and examination, they will expect you to calculate this. They may not put it the way I have just put it. They may say, the cross profit of the company, from year one to five, are this. They could be increasing it. They will tell you year one, the gross profit is 3,000. I put it. That year two, it increased by 20%. I don't know whether I've seen that composition as well. This is your passport. You see from that. So they will tell you year one gross profit is 35. Year two. It increased by 5%. Year 4, 6%, 7%, 10%. That means we, they are not mentioning 111. They expect you that you have done this for it to be 6%. It means 106% of this because it is. Keep on moving like that. Uh -huh. But the position is constant for all the years. So we we'll subtract. As soon as they give us tax now, tax. Maybe they say tax is uh, 35%, or whatever. I'm going to find that 5% of it, 50, and get profit after work. For this question, did not bother about profit after work, tax. They just give us the profit that we need. And we're expecting from this information. Ah, this is the question of people. This is how the question was arranged. Uh, like I said, it could be arranged like this one is easier. They have already told us everything. No stress. But like I said, sometimes they don't tell you what the cross profit to be. You do that yourself. But this one, I'll give you everything. And if it's percentage, you can run that by the So the question I say is no, if you are not people, they will tell you the rate that it increases. Is that okay? Don't worry, by the time I saw the question next to you on this aspect, then I you understand what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Just make sure you are right next to me. Uh, let's just use today calculate everything. Calculate. Calculate the average or accounting. Let me know what they like. Accounting rates of return. For this time. Remember, if there are two projects, there's only one that is there. Like the first time we did, there was two projects. We were able to accept one. But if there are two projects here, accounting rate of return, the one the rate is higher will be the one you will choose. Just like that of paper, you know, the one that pays faster. Are you following? Is the one who will present it. So the same thing here, assuming it was more than one project, we will choose the one that has the rate of return that is more higher. If every business wants to only do for higher one. So that's the question. We're going to solve now. Please copy. Well, I'll throw. But this one will not take us time. Yes, Let's, yeah, go. Let's go. Those of us online, any question? Are you finished copy? Good. Yes, sir. Are we both? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
And if we can start from this up. Solution to this question. I R R. I hope it's clear. A R R. Average rate of return or accounting rate of return, whichever formula you like, is uh, always calculated as average uh, profit, average profit either before or after tax, all over average investment. That's the formula. And sometimes we now say it's nice work. 100 dollars we'll go to 100 dollars But when we get anything over and something, we can go to 100. So that's the formula. Already we have seen everything. What? One, two, three, four, five. That's the most important thing. I hope you know. Because if you don't include that zero, there's an issue. If you do not include the zero, that means you're going to divide by four. Instead of dividing by five, because average of five things mean mathematics mean is to divide by five. So what we are going to do is to add this plus this plus this plus this plus this divide by five. That's the numerator. Average what profit before or after what tax. The down one. The upper one is one over five into one five plus one thousand plus five zero zero plus five zero zero plus what seven all over one over two because this one is only two only two can exist there no matter how uh this is a uh, original cost of the project have it Original cost of the world's project. I do not even believe the original cost of the project. As original cost of the project, if that is not right, I will find out. Yeah. Average over, yes, there is investment there. The investment is uh, 10,000. So, sorry, calculate. Uh, okay, the average, the original cost of projects is ten thousand. Don't mind me. I hope it's clear. I need to. I don't know. The original cost of project is what ten thousand. Let me see how I can make. Original costs of projects is equal to 10,000 naira, which you know is a minus, but that's not what we have now. So, always calculated as half of original cost plus scrap value. I hope you know what scrap value Now, when you use an asset over a long period of time, you want to sell it, you want to dispose the assets. There's an amount they will say they want to buy it. For instance, a car that you bought for maybe five years ago. And you have been using it. Maybe you bought us, say, two million. And somebody now say he wants to pay five hundred dollars. So you have been using this car. That value you want to sell it after usage is called the scrap value. Is that I will call it scrap value? Or we'll call it residual value. Is that okay? And remember that scrap value is it not an income? Is it an income? Fine, that's all we're adding. Anytime there's scrap value in examination, we add, always add, because it's part of income that will give us our cash flow or net cash flow, whichever one it is. So don't forget scrap value or residual value. Is that okay? Uh, sometimes they also call it estimated value. That's another language again. Either scrap value or receivable value or estimated value. 
Because the access has been used. You now look at it. I'm going to sell it. This is so amount. That amount will be an income for you. It's not a loss. It's not depreciation. It's depreciation that is a loss. I call it. For paperwork, but in the real life, depreciation is just a way of getting money kept somewhere to help the organization to buy new assets when that old one is gone. But it is written that in accounting as a loss, so that you will raise the money. Yes. Average. One, two, three, four. Average. Yes. That is the mean of average. When you're asked to find the mean or average of something, is to add all together and divide by the total number involved. Is that okay? Average age. I mean, the number 10. One over 10. Of everything. You don't like average or average age of 10 people. Is to add the ages together. Am I correct? And divide by 10. That's what we're saying here. One over two because there's only two things involved here. Whether this one is given or not, you must include it because this one is zero. If this question is zero, I mean, there's no star value. It means that star value is zero. But zero is important, like you saw here. Are you following? Even if there's no number there. Because if you want to find out the average age of 10 persons, and one of them we are born today. What is zero? Zero here. Oh, can't follow. Are you So not mine is what? Zero. Good. So I hope by now you must have gotten the answer. Okay. Somebody pressing calculator here. This is 2000. Seven. What is called? 3005. 3005 divided by 5. Divided by 5. What do you have? 700. 700. And that one. I hope you know this 10,000. 10, okay. Let, let's divide see that you say that somebody will see 10,000. That's 10,000. Because, uh, I hope you are following. Yes. That is a seven over one. Hundred divided by five thousand. That is hundred over one. Okay. So what is the ARR? Forty percent. Forty percent. Forty percent. Yeah. Forty percent. I agree. Oh, point fourteen is still the same thing as forty. I hope that is clear. Yes, sir. As we have another project that gave us 12% to accept this, okay? So, all you just need to do, even if the project is up to six, you only find the ARR for the whole six and choose decision rule. Decision rule for ARR is highest rate of work return. So, the one that has a rate of return is what you're going to accept. So, that's how to use ARR. In evaluating projects. Any questions? I will follow it. Yes, we do. Sir. Good, good. Make sure you remember. They give us Add it to the original cost. Original cost is 9,000. Am I correct? Give me the value of 1,000. We have 11,000. Am I correct? Divide by two. Or we're not given work on zero. And make sure you divide by two. No one. Because there must be two on the town. They are only pressing. Am I correct? Because that value is an equal. And that one is also what we're expecting. They are only pressing. Eh? Oh, yeah, I'll ask. ask. Uh, you said that the ARR means the highest rate of return. No, 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 highest. So I said ARR is accounting rate of return. Okay. If we have two or more projects to choose from, the project that gives us the highest rate is what we will choose. Those are the decision rules for ARR. Okay. Yes. For this one, we have. So if the, if the uh, rate of return is uh, higher than the company's target, we choose. But all we're after, we have learned how to calculate. If we have two or more projects, the one that has the highest rate, long we choose. 
C'est clair. OK. Elle a la question. Forty percent. That means the cost of capital for us to do business forty percent. Uh -huh. We will choose this one. Yes. If we have the one as fifty percent, we'll go for fifty percent. Is it clear? We are not comparing for now, but we are assuming if there was another project like we did for payback, we don't know what to waste time. As we will do for payback, and we have two projects that has ARR. We'll look at the one that has the highest return and choose so. Is it clear? Any other questions? Okay, we are progressing. We are moving on to the ones that uh, they always like doing. Uh, that is the one we call the uh, discount tech factor, the one that considers the time value of money, the one people recognize more, the one that when you are analyzing project and you use it, they will fault it. And that is the net present value. Net present value. Remember, we have talked about present value. Am I correct? When we did the payback period, we got cost up, I did. We have our cost up. And we now got some value that follow. Those value that follow, if we exclude the minus, I mean, add it together. That is present value. But we now take it away from the cost, it becomes net present value. All right. Are we? Let's start with small, small things first. But let's write the formula down. Probably that will help us. Can we clean the board now? Those of us online? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Good. 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 Right now, moving to number four. Number four on this is our evaluation of projects. This one is called the net present value. The net present value is another method of valuing a project, whether we are to accept or not. So let me quickly do something here. Uh, net present value MPV is equal to summation of cash flow at time T all over one plus R, R raised to power T summation T is starting from one to what n minus C O. So it's all right. Don't worry, I said. This is the formula I do. The idea is still the same thing. When I put it on the table now, you will like it. What are we talking about? So what we are doing here is that if there are n, let me write this one down so that everybody knows what I did. This decision one rule. First. If our net present value is uh, if it's greater than one, I hope they like this one. Uh, T is time, 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 time. Year one, year two, year three, year four, like that. So this is a cost outlay on the project cost. Are you following? Which you know minus that has minus. So that is now. Ah, uh, no more. Yes, now maybe the T start from one to ten. Uh, time, T is time, N is also time. But you all want to know where it's stop. That means T will start from one and stop at maybe five. Five years. Five years, N is five years. But it will start from one to eight like that. That one we will analyze it before something. So if our, when we calculate this thing now, if our net present value is greater than what? One. In a simple language, when it's greater than one, it means it's positive. Agree? We accept. Accept the word. Okay? By the time we calculate this, now, there are some we calculate minus we show. Are you Whereby, you saw the one when we did the payback period, you were all agree with me that when we added the whole present value, it was not even up to that, have you? Will it be minus? Hello, hello, hello. When we are doing the payback period, 
project one. When we added the whole value, was it up to 8,240? So that means if we do that subtraction, there will be a minus. In that yeah, case, yeah. MPB is negative. Such project cannot be executed because it's a minus sign. It will not add to the shareholders' wealth fund. It will not add to the shareholders' value. The investment will not increase for a project that has an MPV of a negative sign. But for a project that has an MPV of positive value, such project should be what implemented. Another one. Okay. Yes, compared with two or more projects. They are both one. Yeah. The one that is higher. We'll take the higher one. If, for instance, one give us 2,000, another one give us 3,000, another 4,000, we'll take 4,000 on and execute. Except if the company has money to execute all positive MPVs, they can go ahead because there are two types of projects. If the projects are mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive, that means you are expected to execute one and leave the other, or take the other and leave the first one. But if it is independent project, that means the company has money to execute more than two projects. So they don't look at the one that has positive MPV and implement them and leave the other ones. Then in that case, they have two, three projects. The capital is available. So MPV, when MPV is zero, there are times you solve when MPV is zero. And when MPV is zero, it shows that the interest rate is also equal to IRR, internal rate of work return. We'll get there. But if MPV is zero, that means a break even. I hope you understand break even point where the cost and what uh, revenue is what zero. Am I correct? The total yeah. revenue is 10 naira. The total cost exactly. is 10 naira. Break even point is zero. Do you understand break even? Break even point is that point where you don't make loss. You did not make what? Is it clear? But your capital is what? Intact. In that case, it's still a fair business. We can move on. But whereby you have an MPV of negative, it means the shareholders want to be reducing. In that case, such projects should not be what? Implemented. I hope you are following. Another one, MPV. Hello, hello. Number two. Okay, no. Okay. You may accept or what? Reject. So it depends on the company. We'll go ahead. But this is still okay. You may accept or you say no. But this one you must accept because it's better than one. For this one, MPV when the MPV is less than one, when MPV is less than one, it means that it's negative. And that means to say there will be an increase in the shareholders' fund. As a result, such projects should be what? Reject. So reject the world. So those are the facts we need to know about MPV. Because as we are going to run the calculation, our MPV could be greater than one, which is positive. It could be equal to zero or less than what? One, which is what? Negative. As a result, we decide which one we do. And most of the questions I see in the examination, they have more of MPV. Because it is that MPV you like, it has more you know, more argument, better argument than all other methods of evaluation. It's better than IRR. I put, but at some time, IRR may say it's correct. Or oh, use MPV. MPV may say, no, it's not correct. I put. But let's still look at how this one is. I will put this formula down. That is the formula we're working on. Uh, like I said, it's also it's easy to calculate if you know we're talking about mathematical. And then um, it takes into consideration the time value of money. It takes into consideration also uh, 
how to accept the project because it's going to be clear, it's clear. It's something we can do on that. So let's look at the example. If you have finished couple words at the bottom, that's a formula to adopt. But let's just take a question and run some calculation. And we'll see how. Can I claim those of us online? Hello? Yes, sir, you can claim. Yes, sir, you can claim. Good, good. Those of us here, I hope we are we're already. Okay, let's see. Uh, still on the MPD. Let's take one question first. First question on MPD. Uh, Suppose, suppose a project has the following, the following expected. Pay more attention on this cash, uh, this MPV because most of the thing we are doing this subject has something to do with this course, has something to do with that uh, MPV. Very important. Cash flows over four year life. Four year life. Five year, year zero. These are our cash flow. Year zero, we have minus seventeen eight zero zero. Five year one, four thousand. Year two, we have uh, the one is eight thousand. Is four thousand. Year three, six thousand naira. And year four is also six thousand naira. And the cost of capital, cost of capital or the opportunity cost or rate of return, whichever one, is a twelve percent. Um. Person says calculate MP of this particular thing. You can do it in two ways. The first way, I'll do it in the first way. Second method, so of course, we like that, doesn't it? So, from the formula, MP is equal to 8,000. Are they? Cash flow, CF, year one, 8,000 eh? all over 1.12 eh? rest of our year one, that is 0.1 of eh? it, plus 4,000, eh? all over 1.0 something like this, plus 6,000, all over 1.12, all rest of our three, plus 6,000. All over 1.12 uh, one, power is to power 4 minus CO. I hope you saw that in your notes. Uh, cost of uh, outlay, cost outlay, Abbe, which is 17,000 watts. Abbe minus, minus cash flow, Abbe. That is it. Minus cost outlay. Or oh, cost of the project. Is that okay? Uh -huh. I hope the formula is clear. Somebody can run calculator sharp sharp. One point. I hope you have not forgotten our formula. One plus R and B. I think of what it is. Tower by year zero. Tower by year zero. Yes, sir, is that C O C O plus? Okay. Is that right? 
minus 17,800 plus, or you say minus 17,000. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This, this minus CO, or we start from beginning, minus CO plus. Whichever one. That means we can say plus, sorry. We can say minus 17,800 plus all this to this point. All these are minus. We we'll move to minus 17,800. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. R is 12 percent, have it? Is our R 12 percent? That's 0.12. It will now give us 1.12. At least we are growing past our level now. We are growing very well. 1.1, 12, like that. Minus, I hope you know this is the cost. Minus. It is going to subtract because all this one, what to the whole of all this. Is the present value. That's the present value. So take it away from cost. You've got net present value. Other one. You can solve it like this. We'll do it again. We'll give you another method to see what anyone you like to use to see what's going on. Cost outlay. Cost outlay. That means the cost of the project. Is it clear? Calculator. How far somebody don't run that? Your calculator can do this at the same time. I correct. Just straight away. Already you know it's uh, minus 17,800, Abby. This one is 17,800. See you. Uh -huh. You just put it there. So what's the result? Oh, we take it gradually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now this one, what's the result of this? Seven one four three of it plus this one come three one is it nine eight or eight eight? Okay, eight nine better plus this one who is there? Those of us online, are you seeing it? Four, two, seven, one, we, are not, we are not seeing the boat. Please turn the camera. Well, we are okay. seeing. We are not seeing the boat. We are not seeing the boat. Yeah, the boat is turned upside down. Thank you. Is it clear now? Yes, it's Can you see now? Yes, good, yes, good, good. Better. I like Thank that. You. You're welcome. So, without wasting much time, the last one there, three what? Three, eight, one, three. CO is what? Good. They are doing well. They are doing well. Somebody press calculator. Let's take it easy. This plus this plus this plus this minus this. What's the final result? Who is there? 616. 616. Good. Our MPV, is it positive or negative? Positive. Means this kind of project should be executed. It will add to the shareholders' fund. It will improve the company's resources. It will not reduce. Is it clear? Maybe some of us don't like this method. We'll show you another one. Because in examination, any of the two is accepted. And sometimes some lecturers may not like this. So that when they are teaching you, you don't uh, they're looking at it as if it's magic. Yes. No, you don't? Eh? No, it can't be the same. It's possible. It's possible. Oh, well, no, it won't change. It's not like I'm doing this stuff. You don't pass out. Any question? You must know how to calculate MPV throughout the lifespan of this course. You must be talking about MPV. 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 Right? Because there's also what we call expected value of MPV. So I think almost 
All those are the period. You go capital ration. So you don't have an empty So you must understand. Don't play with it. It's very interesting. If you don't practice more, I don't think it's a serious issue. It's just this over here, this over here, this over here, this over here. Or you use the other method. Uh, let me clear my question. You can use this other method. It's allowed. It's a uh, Alternatively, you can say year one, year zero is cash one flow minus seventeen eight hundred. Uh, discount what factor? And how many percent? To everybody. Then present one. You know we did this today, Abi. Mean? We did this today, uh, and the same thing we are doing. And I believe somebody would have gotten this as what one, and help us divide by what one point one two, one point one two. I hope by now we are already conversing with these uh, uh, small small questions on the board. Uh, number two, uh, four thousand. Good. Uh, year three, you have 6,000. And year four, we also have 6,000. Okay, so we are moving. Okay, so like we have agreed, our formula hasn't changed, it's still one plus one over one. So which means we will keep on dividing by denominator, B. This first one is one. Oh, 4,000. Don't mind the math. Okay, 4,000. Now, so if you don't like this uh, first method, this is very nice. Someone's enjoy this method. This one. You don't like this one. Oh, you like this one? Ah, but I thought you said you like this one. Don't time. Oh, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, yeah. Help us now. Yeah, it's already 17,800. Uh, somebody divide. Oh, yeah, now the result here yeah, divide by 1.12. All you have, okay, everybody is busy. Yeah, the first one we have is 0 0.8 yeah. zero point eight nine two uh -huh. nine. zero point eight nine two nine 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 yeah. nine nine Discount. I have zero point seven nine seven two. Seven two. And I divide again by one point two. Divide this four point seven nine seven two. Divide by one point zero point seven one one eight. Good. Divide again by one point ten one two. Zero point zero five nine three. Good. I oh, yeah, multiply, let's start here. One eight thousand times this. Let's see the result. It's not difficult. This one is six three. Yes, okay, this wait a moment. Is this six three? Yes, six three. Six three five five. Okay, yes. okay good. So the present value of this multiply, multiply, let's say. You said this one was 143, I think. I had the other one, 4,000 times uh, the discount factor. Three thousand one eight eight. Three thousand one eight eight. Next, 4,000 
Are we following? Are we following? Which method do you? Hello. Hello? Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Bye. Yes. Is this topic still on the accounting rate of return? No, ah, we have left the accounting rate of return since. We are now in number four. Number one was a simple uh, payback period. Number two okay. was a discounted payback period. Number three Sorry? was accounting rate of return. We are now in number four. What method of evaluating projects in capital budgeting under certainty? So when I met present value, we use the first method, and this one has seen on the body. The second method of solving that same net present value, is it clear? Okay. Hello. Clear. clear. Thank you very much. Okay. Go. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Uh, any questions? I just see one five. I don't worry. Approximately. Because in the presence of what is our transmission, this is nine, Abby. Yes. That's right. You can see very much. Mm -hmm. This is eight, nine, Abby. Yes. So we're not Abby. And so, so it must be the same if actually you have been a good job. So we're going to take another example on this next present. But different. Uh, I So don't bring the passes. I'll show you now. You see that you can solve question yourself without me talking too much. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, I don't know. See why. What's the feedback word? I can't feel it. This net present, I did. Let me see. I did not see net present. Don't want to go. That means we are seeing what's inside. See, I'm not here. See, I'm not here. Feedback. So these are high, these are high. We are seeing things, Abby. That one will handle it. That means we are coming closer. Anytime you are solving anything on the board, and what you are solving, you can now see similar things in past question. That means you are coming close. But when by everything we are doing, no one is ever worse in the past question. That means we have not started anything. So don't worry. 
I believe we'll next week we must start at least the question so that uh, you will see what we are talking about. But this is an FPV. But this is another FPV in another way. I believe I can clean this. This is the first question on FPV. This is the second example for MPV, net present value. And I'm going to always use two methods. I'll use the two methods to actually show you how to handle this. OK, let's take this small one. Suppose another project. Suppose another project costs 10,000 naira, and uh, has an annual cash flow, annual cash flow, 3,000 naira each year. Each year for five years. Each year for five years. Full stop. Calculate the MPV at a discount. Discount rate of 10%. If you look at this on the board, our cash flows are the same again. These are no more stress. Solution. Solution. You can say MPP is equal to 3,000 all over 1. 10% is 0 0.1. All raised to the power of what T uh, summation starting from T starting from one and ending at how many years? Five years. So our MPV is X minus what? Zero. I will get it. That's our formula. Our CF. Is 3,000, right? CF is 3,000. Yeah. Yes, CF is 3,000. All of our work plus uh, the rates is 10%, which you know is 0 0.1. Starting from T, the one, the two, the three, the four, the one, the five. So to solve this, it's very simple. So we can write it. I hope you have got this question. Okay, let's write it somewhere here. MPV is as 3,000 all over all over 1.1 R raised to power T, uh, T equal to what? To what? Five minus CO. So all I'm going to do now is to solve this way 3000 bracket open minus 10,000. Remember what we have been doing. This is 1.1 raised to power one from one to where? Five. Remember we have a formula like this. Uh, one minus one plus R raised to power N. You remember this formula? I thought you about it. So what you're going to do for me is to write here 1.1 raised to power minus five 
minus what, 5? The value of what, 0.1. You remember that formula now. For us to know this value, very summation, starting from 1 to 1. Are you sure you understand this? So, you know what we have just done? See what we have done? 3,000. Over what? 3,000. Over 1 point. 3,000. Over 1 point. 3,000 over 1 point. That means 4 years, okay, 5. Plus 3,000 over 1.2 raised to power 5. Minus what? This is what we have done on the board. Hey, it's wasting of time now. Is it not 3,000 at the same year? Is that okay? It's just, it's, it's constant. So why are we writing? So anyway, like, okay, let's test the two. Let's test it. We have seen this, I mean. Oh, sorry. So check it out, the same thing. I hope your calculator is working. And uh, check it out, check it out. Just say this, plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this, minus this. This is 10,000. Then let's support everything with this one, everything with this. Don't do this for me, let's do it. I uh, will have alternative way of doing things so that when you get to any method you like to use, uh, that means we're going to even have three methods now. We have seen the first one, this is the second one. We're going to have now the third one, and then it's supervised. Is it clear now? Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, somebody help us with all this. Okay. And nobody's happy, right? Let me help myself. I'm going to have to help. So I'm having one minus brackets, one point one, always to the power of minus five. And divide by 0 0.1. This is what I'm having here 3, 0 0.7, 9. One. Okay. Nine zero eight times times three thousand. And with eleven thousand. 372, let me put the cover and six cover, minus 10,000, results 1,372, 36 cover. The MPV is positive, are they? Somebody help me with this. We should get the same thing. Nobody is happy. We should have the same answer. If you multiply very well, is it the same? So what are we talking about? Any method you like. This is a short way. Let's get the present value of it here. I multiply and get this all. You start taking this one because that's the meaning of summation. This plus this plus this plus this, and you go ahead like that. So the choice is yours. Then there's still one more method before. Yeah. So it's like first one. Uh, first one. You said? Yeah. Yeah. That means to say that 3,000 outside that be this formula here. That, that formula, that M. What was it? Minus N. N is 5. Not 1 by 1. Or no, 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 no. Just minus 5 here. Yeah. That is the summation of all these things. Three minutes, one by one. This one, oh, one by this one. That's the meaning. So there's a formula, which you know already we have done it. That is present by the annuity formula to help us arrive at that kind of problem. Is it clear? If 
report back to say. Uh, by the time we come next time, it will be much. Yes, present by the next. So we will do that much. We will do much. Uh, if only one I'm going to solve that before I go, I'll go back to what we have done before so that we don't need to do repetition so that we can do IRR before we go. Uh, internal rate of return. Yes. One plus what? This one. Yes, present value of ordinary and rate. In case you have forgotten. One plus R raised to power minus N. All over R. R is a ratio only. 0.1 in this case. Are we there? We are flowing. I hope nobody is left behind. We will thank God for the next. But let's see what we can do to that. Uh, we'll just do, I can clear my question. Yes, let me put you through this question and solve that small one so that I know I've given you three ways of solving this small thing. So, those of us are still like table, no problem. Uh, alternatively, the third method here, yeah, zero, cash flow, present word, <laughs> discount factor at uh, 10%, I suppose, and then present value. Okay, uh, this is time zero. Right, right. Which one? This one is faster. No, no, sir. Do this one. This one again. And it's, it's the same thing. Don't like say one minus 1.1 1 .1 at the end. But I resolve point. A minus five. All over 0 0.1. Now you can play talk and do the rest. Even if it's your 20, not like that, minus 20, yes. That's why, like I was telling you, hello, hello. That this one I'm writing on the board is wasting of one. Right. If this place we are 20, will you write in 20? You write 20. No one no, uh, Because it's not good to an examination, they say stop. You say, but I know everything. It's just time. This is the letter you get. It's actually stop. Nobody will listen to that. So that's why this method is very important. That when the thing is to 20 or 50, you can't be writing when the amount is the same. How long do you know? So this one is because it's just four years. It's easy for me to write for. Why is it like 20? What's the time? The cash flow. Every first time you use it. It's not constant. You have to do one more. Very first year is 200, 250, 2000, 1000. You can't run that method. You have to do it one by one. Or use a table, which I'm about to use now. This is one, Abi. I know 10,000. If I was showing you this today, hello, let me look up. I was showing you something like this today. You know, it was 3,000. For how many years? Five years. I don't need, it's not proper for me to write year one, 3,000, year two, 3,000, to year five, have it? That would be wasting of what time. So just like I did here, I was doing it like this. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. That would be wasting of what time. So I can run what, what to what, five. And this one to five will be the same value, three point seven nine zero eight. This value, nine degrees. I can. The value from one to what? Is this a problem? Or oh, use to get this one? Because we are getting the discount factor from year one to where? Five. Because it's the same thing. And as we were doing year one, year two, year three, year four, it's still the same as I arrived at. Year one, I put 2,000. Year two, I put 3,000. Sorry. Year one, 3,000. Year two, uh, 
3,000. Year 3, 3,000. Year 4, 3,000. That would be wasting of what? Time. But we can say from 1 to what? 5. And then get the discounting factor from year 1 to 5, which is this formula on the back. Present value of the activity form. So I write that. Then when I multiply the somebody else, that would be 11,372. Well, that is six words double. We now subtract to give us what? MPV, which is still the same thing as 1372.136 words double. Is it clear? I hope whichever method you have chosen, follow it to the end and arrive at the answer. I hope we are following. Yes. Okay, before we go, let's see that last one. Those of us online, any questions? No, sir, from my end, no, sir. Hello? Yeah, from my end, no, sir. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's just um, introduce it so that we don't give ourselves too much stress. Because I don't know. Don't know. Um, but this one, let's just write it. I R R. It's called internal. Let's just write the grammar that follows. Internal rates of return, have we? Hey, that's number five. But we may not uh, go too far. Let's just say, uh, so that we don't give you too much uh, stress. Some of us are already looking at the formula that is too much. But let's just see what happens. Internal rate of what return. This method is what they call trial and error. Trial and error. There's another method which they call modified internal rate. This one is what we'll do first internal rate of return. The product of modified internal rate of work. This method allows us to go this way. Uh, I just, I just say here as a first uh, discount uh, level, starting point was the MPV at time one, all over MPV at time one minus MPV at time two. Uh, times, okay, let's go back here. 
uh, a higher one, but a lower one. That's our formula. Is that? And this lower discount factor, the small one, and the one we use small. You know, we are doing trial. We can say, let's try 10%. Now we started with the MBD. We'll try another one, maybe 20%. So here we'll be 20 minus 10. And in the course of trying 10%, we had an MBD, a value positive, which is this and this. And the one we try for maybe 20%, higher percent, gave us a negative. That negative, because this one, let me just let you know that this one is a bracket. And this bracket means minus. And there is minus and the middle. It will not become what? Plus. Is that okay? So it simply means that we are also using MPV. We try MPV with the original percentage they gave to us. Are you following? For instance, the first question we treated, we had MPV of 20%, are they? Is it 20%? And the value was positive. You cannot try 22%. You know, I've added them. Hello. That same question with you. We can try 22%. So that means we're having how many MPVs? Two. The first one with 12%. The second one with 22%. The one with 22% will give us negative. I follow. So in that respect, we will join the two together to give us an MPV. But in a simple language, not to waste time. Our IRR is um, yes. JBL, the lower lower discount factor, lower lower, and this one is higher discount factor. We are going to use two. But let's just write this thing so that you will not just. Because another one we can say again is that internal rate of return is at that point when MPV is zero. That interest rate that will make our net present value to be zero is our internal rate of return. Remember, when we solve MPV, we got the positive value of it. And if you remember the rules I gave to you, I say MPV can be zero, Abby. So if MPV is zero, it must have an interest factor or rate of return. That rate of return that made an MPV to be zero is our internal rate of return. Are you getting? Okay. okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's see what we're talking about. You know, this is an MPV. This must be. As we here was zero. The 10% is internal rate of return. Yes. That internal, that interest rate, that discounting factor that made our MPV to be equal to zero is our internal rate of return. But we'll get there. Look at the board. Uh, one plus R, R is to plan C. Starting from one to n minus okay, let's say let's say equal to c but that's another way again. If the MPV is equal to the cost of what cost of a project, I mean you know it's also zero. I hope you understand because this one is our expenses, I mean these are our expenses. This is our word, income. Income, when the income is equal to the expense, that's break even point, that means where everything is what? Zero. Or when we take this one inside and everything is equal to zero, it's also the same thing. So that's this app we are seeing here. This app we are seeing here. This what? The internal rate of return. Because this and this are equal. Or because this minus this is equal to zero. I don't know whether they are following, but just trying to give you a formula. I'm not anything. Let's try it. First of all, this is the formula to find what? 
internal rate of what? Then when you have done an MPV, I can find the time rate of return if it's equal to what? Zero. But put it down. Let's see what we can quickly get to what we have on the board already. How many percent is this? And this was I will increase it by what? Ten. Just make it ten. Ten is it. Remember, it's trying. It's trying and what? Error. Please write this formula down so that I can use this safety on the board. Yeah. Uh, cash flow now, cash flow, cash flow. Cash flow at time T. Cash flow at time T. Let's include that to that there. We will take that one and manage. Remember that's what I gave to you, Abby? Hello. There's one I gave to you that we use 12 percent. So now we are going to use 22 what? Percent at home and get internal rate of what? The one we just did is what? I want to do 20. Get my own. The way I get mine, not to yours. Other side. I hope you are there. And you go through and now you understand. Check this 10 percent. Never understand that. Wait, this 10%, you are not clear. No, this one we did here, are you not clear? Hey, I you not the same What is the one between this and that one? Don't worry, you understand. The enemy is a liar. You understand? All this I don't understand. Why would you? Uh -huh. So, for our internal rate of return, try what? Ten words. First step. Five words. We have tried ten percent. It was positive. Am I correct? We don't need to worry about saving again. This is our number five. I hope they are there. This number five that we have started. We have cash flow of three thousand from year one to year five, and we have tried. Remember, internal rate of return is done by trial and word. Error. We have tried ten percent, and ten percent give us positive. So know whether it will give us negative. We should try something above ten, preferably just at ten. At ten, I move on. So we'll try now. We'll try what? Good. Year what? Cash flow, discount factor at twenty what? Present value, good. Times zero is still minus 10,000. This one is still one, minus 10,000. Here, one to what? Five. And the thing will change. This will change, Abby. That time was minus, it was 1.1. 1 .1. Five. But this one is now 1.1. One. One. Two. So our formula is 3,000 every year. Our formula is one, uh, 1.2 minus what, right? All over 4.2. I hope you remember this. Somebody help us. Anybody? One minus. 1.2 always to the power of uh, minus 5 divide 0.2. What do I have? 2.9906. We have multiplied. That's 3,000. Grab box. Abby? 82 Abby? 94. So 8,000. Nine seven one Abi point eighty four Abi good 
What's our FTV? Is it minus or positive? Is it minus or positive? How about the same positive? Negative. Negative. It comes out. Have you seen the minus sign? Are you seeing the formula on the board? It's working. Internal rate of what? Return. What is the first formula we use? What is the first rate we use first? 10%. And we all know that 10% is 0.1. Plus, when we use 10%, what was our MPV? 1, 3, 7, 2, 3, 6, over 4, 1, 3, 7, 2, 36, minus, minus 1, 0, 2, 8, point 16. How oh, someone is managing? Into 20 watts. Okay, let's take it. 0 0.2 is 20% that way. Are we there? Have you seen the problem? Is it clear? No, no, no. Is it clear? Is that it clear? We try what? Which we all know. We now add them to say so that the two won't have to make positive again. Anytime you just increase it by 10, because it is trial by what? We don't have any particular formula for that. For internal rate of return is to try. Here is a discount, the lower one, lower. You know, we have two rates here, babe. We have 10 percent, we have 20. Lower is 10. Upper is 20. Uh, who has a head? H is higher, 20%. 20%. I will use that bit. So that's the minus 10,000. Yes, it's not net present value. Yeah. And this is minus 10, I mean. Plus, minus will come down. This is positive, I mean. Yes. Minus 10,000 plus. 8,000, we'll give you minus. You have a good question? Uh-huh, better. So is it clear now? So 0.1 plus somebody. This will be plus. Plus. Into this is 0.1, I mean. 0.1, 0.2 minus 0.1, it's not 0.1. Good. So I hope your calculator is doing well. This bracket, what is the result from this bracket? This divided by this. Okay, let's still write one, three, seven, two, point that is six. Addition of this, I hope you understand that uh, minus times minus is plus, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Because our MPV has a minus sign, that was why the minus at the middle became what? Plus. It's not that I like putting plus there. It's because the sign of uh, mathematical water, we say minus times minus is what? Plus. And we have to put it. Is it clear? Remember what I told you. If you try the first one, like the one I gave to you was 12%. You try 22%. I do the same thing. It's interesting. You have to continue to have minus. As you I put that, it is still giving me positive. I will ignore that nonsense. You continue until there's an MP of negative and one is positive. And we need it. That's all the formula I expect. Because there will be a time where we can implement the project, I mean, when it has a minus sign. Because when the interest rate is higher and higher and higher, MPV must be negative. 
So when you have gotten the first one that is positive, what you need again is the one that you have more negative. And if you have not gotten negative with your first try, a second try, you do the third try, just add them there. I got it. The first one we tried was 10, and it was positive. We are using that one. We need another trial that will be a negative value. Yes, we need it. Yes. Yes, so that we can know the interest rate that is fair as far as the entire rate of return is worth concerned. So that is what we are doing. So please add these two together for me, somebody. Are they there? 2004. 2,400, 1.52, good. Oh yeah, I'll multiply. This over this, times this, plus this. That will give us our entire average of the top. Everything. Everything. Okay, 0.157, Abby, which is 15.7%. Now listen. When we get internal rate of return, there are things we watch. If the internal rate of return is higher than the cost of capital, you know this question, the cost of capital is 10% of it. If the internal rate of return is higher than the cost of capital, we accept the project. You know that when we started this question, if you check your notes, the cost of capital was 10%. Am I correct? Now, my internal rate of uh, rate of return, 16.17, which shows that the internal rate of return is higher than the cost of capital. That project is good, we should execute it. We accept. Why is it less than? We reject. Is it clear? For you, decision rule for internal rate of return or cost. If the internal rate of return is higher than the cost of capital. Accept the project. Otherwise, reject the project. Is it clear? What is our, our cost of capital? The original question was 10% of it. And our entire rate of return is what? 15%. Who should accept the project? Because we're expecting higher return than the cost of work capital. Otherwise, if it's less than a bit, we should reject. Is it clear? It's less than, it's less than the cost of capital. We should reject. But if it's higher than the cost of capital, we should accept such projects. Is it clear? So the assignment, is it clear now? We can do it. We are going back to the question with you already. The one we start, the first example we started with. For net present value, it was 12%. Please cross check. Was it 12%? The number one question for net present value was 12% a bit. And we have calculated the 12%. Am I correct? And we got an MPV of how much? 612. Six a bit. Simple. You have done the first one. You will not do a second try, a bit, which will not be 22%. That second trial should give you a negative MPV. You do the same thing we did here. And get your internal rate of return. Is that too difficult to do? Okay. They're telling me it's not difficult that they can handle that. So by the time we come next time, by this. Any question? Those of us online, any question? Hello? Those of us online? No question, please. No question. So, very good. And those of us on site, any question? Yes. Because that's what they gave us. And that's what we discounted with. That's the same thing. Is that okay? So, with that, it is obvious that you can solve that question for me and get the internal rate of return. Those of us online? You know what we are talking about? The first question on net present value, that the interest rate was 12%. Our MPV was 616. You now do another trial by error. 
you try 22%, just add 10% or 12%. You try 22%, your MPV should be negative. And you use it to get your internal rate of what? Return. When we return by his grace, we shall look at how to calculate the profitability index, which is the last one for this uh, capital budget. Profitability index. And just to add, this internal rate of return, there's another one we call modify F, modify internal rate of return. In that one, we, did not, we don't need to try. We will have a formula and we'll get there. And you know the formula. It's just that we don't understand that what I'm saying. We'll just use that formula. Immediately we'll finish it. We'll now take a question from your past question and analyze what we have done. On payback period, accounting rate of return. Are you following? Uh, internal rate of return, net present value. Those are the things that is in that particular question. They'll be able to analyze it and everybody will understand. So that when you see similar questions like that in that same pass, because the past questions, most of them are repeated and they are similar. So if I solve a particular one and you see a similar one in another, you can try and then submit or show us. By so doing, we are beginning to move gradually. Any other questions? No. Okay, yeah, yeah. Those are first online. So in the aspect of question, that's all we can draw the content for today. God bless you. See you when the day. Bye.